It's a new month and that means new goals. July literally slipped through my fingers between dealing with my fiance's broken ankle and having to offer him so much assistance. There was literally no rhythm or routine to my life. I was waking up late, half-assing my workouts and just barely keeping it together. But now it's time to bring back some normalcy into my life. I'm setting new goals, staying consistent and being focused. My top priority is to be monetized on YouTube. So I'll also be sharing a sneak peek into my analytics and talking about why it's so important that you should be building your side hustle right now. Whether you're looking to reset, grow your skills, or just need some motivation to keep going, you're in the right place. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra, and here on my channel, we are all about creating a life you love. So that being said, we're gonna hop into today's video. This video is gonna be all about getting back on track. I actually posted a video on my channel last week that was talking about getting back on track when it comes to like your fitness plan or your diet or just like your health and fitness goals. But this is gonna be getting back on track for life, like just in general. I don't know about y'all, but like July literally slipped through my hands. Like it went by so fast and I didn't get things done that I needed to get done. And with it being August 5th, August 6th, like still the beginning of the month, so I still had time to set like genuine intentions, genuine goals for this month for myself. Um, we have five months left in the year. So if you are also at a place where you're like, okay, it's time for me to make some changes. It's time for me to get back on track. I highly, highly encourage you to stay a while and watch the video because honestly, it's just time to get back on track. Like if you have a certain goal that you want to reach by the end of the year, it's go time. And like, you can get it done. I don't care how big it is. Like if you believe it and you put in the work, it's going to happen. So let's go ahead and hop in. So first things first is you need structure. Like we all need some sort of like structure in our life. And when you think about it back to like grade school, like they had you on a schedule. You were going to classes at certain times. You went to lunch at a certain time. Like after school, you might have programs. Like there was so much structure usually in your life at a young age because you're in school pretty much like through the day. You're going to those different classes. So it's like you always know what you're doing next. However, I feel like I had a hard time adjusting to like life after like college because there was no structure. Like they tell you to grow up, go to school, and then once you're an adult, you can do whatever you want to do. You don't have to listen to my rules. You don't have to follow any of this kind of stuff. But the thing is, I don't think that they teach us to have like autonomy over like our like structure, like our life, honestly. So I had spent a good portion of like my after grad, like few months like just kind of depressed because I'm like what am I supposed to be doing right now but that is up to you to figure out you know the rhythm and routine of your life that is up to you to fill your life and your day with things that you like to do make a schedule for yourself like because honestly if you do not make a schedule for yourself or make some sort of like routine life is going to pass you by stuff is still going to happen the world is not stopped because you're not doing anything the world is going to continue to go on and if you don't work on what you need to work on like it's only hindering you and yourself honestly so the big big piece that i want to like express here is like you need to have structure and structure is important because honestly to put it most simply like it keeps you on track it helps you maintain like order in your life and people may put like a a negative like vibe i don't think that's the right word but like just a negative negative feeling over like structure they might seem like oh you're controlling like you can't control everything in your life but you can control a lot of things in your life and your schedule should be one of them so i feel like your life would go so much more smoother if you knew exactly what you were supposed to be doing throughout the day and it pretty much just kind of sets you up for success start to reflect on your july when it comes to doing like this reset for yourself Specifically for me, my July was crazy. The only thing I can say about July that kind of went good is I was actually consistent on my channel, but that is pretty much thanks to my June being on point with my structure. So for June, I structured my batching of my content. Like every week I was recording at least like two to three videos just to have a reserve of videos to go out in case something happened. And in fact, on June 29th, my fiance broke his ankle, his right ankle. So he has not been able to do anything, has not been able to help me with anything. And I just going to be completely honest, I have been a mess, like been depressed. Like it's just been a lot. And I know like when you get married, it's like for better or for worse. And like you signed up for this, but like it took a lot of a mental toll on me. Like 
when you think about it, two individuals, they take care of themselves. Like even if you live with your person, even if you help your person with certain stuff, at the end of the day, they still do everything else by themselves. Like, you shower by yourself, you do all your hygiene stuff by yourself, you get dressed by yourself, you can drive yourself around whenever you want to like you can get up and move and please as yourself when you're an individual and like i'm still an individual he's still an individual but because he broke his right foot it's just been chaotic life has been crazy house has been a mess i was oversleeping like half-assing my workouts for me august is all about getting myself back on track we're more than halfway through the year we have five months left in the year so it's time for me to kind of just buckle down and reel it back in. He's actually at physical therapy right now. So it's like, okay, he's starting to get a little bit more mobility back in his life. So I feel like I can kind of get back to my regular schedule program because he doesn't need as much as a, much attention as he needed before. So thank God for that. What I want to do is just focus on myself right now. Focus on the things that I need to get done by the end of the year. And that kind of just throws me to my August plans for myself is to, like I said, get back on track to buy a regular schedule program. I honestly feel like before we actually moved in together, I was very good with having like a schedule and a routine for myself. I was literally at the gym before five. Um, I would sleep at night before 10. I had like a closing shift where I was cleaning my kitchen before I went to bed and it's just like it's been a little bit too relaxed here and I've fallen off of my schedule and my routine so for me August is all about being intentional about just getting my life because honestly my house has been a mess and you cannot think if your house is a mess your house is a representation of your brain so I do want to be more conscious and cognizant of keeping my space clear clean and clutter free honestly. And another thing I want to focus on and get back on track with is batching my content. So like I said, in June, I batched so much content that I didn't have to record anything in July and it sustained me and I was able to remain consistent on my channel here in July. So that's good. But since I didn't record anything in July, I now have to make up for that and start batching content now. And it kind of puts me in the hole for August because now I have to make sure that I have content ready to go. So I do have to I do have to set time aside to do those things. Um, and if I work a nine to five, I have a side business, it's like so many moving pieces of my life. I have to set like specific days to do these kind of things. And that's the only way you're going to get stuff done because everybody's like, I don't have time to do this. You have to make time. Like there's some free time throughout your schedule somewhere. And for those free little minutes, you need to do whatever you need to do. Let's just talk about my goals for August. My number one goal is for sure to grow my YouTube channel. I've been on YouTube for a long time. I'm not even gonna hold y'all up. I'm probably like six years. I'm not, I think I probably made my first YouTube video like right when I graduated college, but I've never been like consistent with it. Like I'll post for one month and then it'll just be like cricket. So it's like, I have like content back like for years. And the good thing about having that content for these years, I do have a good amount of watch hours. What I don't have is subscribers because I feel like I do lack the consistency. So what I've seen over the past two months for myself is like I've had a rapid growth in my subscribers and people are really, you know, liking my content. And I've been able to take a deeper dive into my analytics and like see what people actually like, what people are actually responding to. And I just have to kind of go with that. When it comes to having a YouTube channel, you really have to figure out what works. It's not about what works for you, honestly. It's about what your audience likes. Like, you may think, oh, this is super cool and everybody's gonna like it. And that video might be like crickets. The thing you least think about, like the thing that you think, I'm never gonna do that, that's probably what your audience is gonna like the most. Honestly, like my weight loss content has been getting so many views and it's like, I've been so afraid to do like health and fitness and health and wellness content because I was so overweight for so long. I just felt like I couldn't get on this internet and tell people anything if I didn't reflect that. And like now, honestly, I'm down 45 pounds just in general. And I do feel more comfortable to be able to speak on certain things. And I just do feel more comfortable in my body and my skin to even show up on camera a little bit more frequently. So I do think it's important that you do foster whatever kind of like insecurities that you have so you can show up 
But when it comes to growing your YouTube channel, you have to be consistent. Like that is it, that is all. So that is my main top priority for August is to grow my channel. And then my second priority is to grow my side hustle. I know y'all see it, I know you feel it. The economy is trash right now. And even though that I feel like I work at a very stable, um, stable industry, like I've talked to my boss and she's like, your job's safe, like nothing's going on here. If anything, we're acquiring like companies. So I'm not too worried about like a layoff or anything, but I am just, I guess, trying to be ahead of the game. Like honestly, I got laid off from my very first job like after college and it kind of like traumatized me. So I do have a side hustle that when I first started, it was called like Create a Life You Love where I was like helping people with their business, branding, websites, all that good stuff, marketing strategies. And it has now developed into Sierra on social. And I still kind of do the same thing. I just never push it like a lot because it's like, it comes so easy to me. I just feel like, oh, it's whatever. It's just a little hobby kind of thing. But people legit don't know like their marketing stuff. People legit don't know social media. People legit don't know design. So if it's something that comes easy to me, A, I should be helping other people like teaching in a way that I can help people. And two, why not like why not help people so right now i'm kind of shifting my my focus and my content so follow that page if you guys are interested in learning social media like in a very most simple way if you need help with your social media or your graphics follow the page because i'm going to be dropping gems and tips there and the main thing that I want to promote right now with that avenue of my business, and I'm also going to be getting on LinkedIn, is because I really want to encourage people who are still working. This is the time to foster whatever kind of skill that you have. While you still have some sort of like consistent income, you need to be building something that you cannot be fired from. Because at the end of the day, these jobs do not care about you. Like they don't care about you at all. So you need to make sure that you're always, always, always covering your ass. And I talk to people a lot at work and I work for like an insurance company. So it's like people are somewhat like older there. And I wouldn't even say this is old, like 40, like in their 40s. So they have years, like at least maybe 20 years of career experience under their belt. Like that is something that is a skill that you learn and that you have mastered. So honestly, you can be doing some sort of like consulting in this area on the side and if that's not what you want to do on the side like figure out something that people need in this season and begin to cultivate that like outside of your nine to five work because honestly you might just need it and even if you are a person who does not have a job or you're on the job hunt right now start to figure out how you can build some sort of like business in this time there are lots of grants and stuff that you can apply for but honestly it doesn't cost much money to get a business running if it's a service-based business. Now, if it's a business that requires like product and inventory, I will honestly say like probably don't even do anything like that right now unless it's some sort of like print on demand because the economy is so iffy right now. Do not like invest in like all this product of stuff, like really focus on what skills you can offer to somebody and how to sell them because at the end of the day, if you have an Instagram, you have a YouTube, that is a free platform for you to teach and for you to get clients and for you to get leads. Like point blank period is so easy right now. Like we have it so much better than like generations before. Like we need to take advantage of this kind of stuff. And like you don't, like it would be nice to have a computer or some stuff of some sort, but like you can do a lot of the stuff from your phone. You can set up calls from your phone. Like you don't need a fancy office, fancy equipment. Like just get started. But I wanna say I highly, highly encourage you to start to think about these things, start to foster any kind of skill that you have, that you think is easy, that you're interested in, start to do this stuff now, especially if you have the extra funds right now. I say this because I've been in HR pretty much since I graduated from college. And like I said, I got laid off like my very first job. So right there, it kind of traumatized me and showed me that if something goes down, the company does not care about you that much. They might give you a severance pay, but that severance pay is not enough. Like, I don't care how much it is, it's not enough. And you have to cover your own ass and like start to think about that stuff now because we don't know what's gonna happen in this world. And I know you see it and I know you feel it. Like, I'm a very loud in tune person and I just feel like this heaviness about something. And I'm taking action during this time. Like I said, I still have my job, but I do want to encourage and help 
people who want to start a small business or people who need help with their personal brand. That is what I want to teach on right now. Those are the soft services that I'm going to be offering right now. And now is the time to do that kind of stuff. So that's just what I'm throwing out there. And then as far as like my personal schedule and routine, I read, um, I know I've talked about this book in the past few videos, but like The Mountain Is You, it really kind of just helped me put in perspective of how much I was like self-sabotaging my life. And it's like, sometimes we will leave our environment so chaotic and it just, we'll get in the bed and scroll our phone. And it's just like, that is literally sabotaging yourself so pretty much set your life up for success so for me what is important right now is to get back on that rhythm of routine get back on my workouts you know get back on my workout plans get it back on my cleaning and honestly cleaning has always kind of like come hard to me like I didn't grow up where my mom was like beating us to do chores like my mom was pretty much like do it I really don't care if you don't do it like she did a lot of like the work like she didn't force us to do chores and i mean now i'm probably like maybe i did need some chores but like the only time we really had chores is like if we didn't go to school she was like all right well you have to do this this is and that now i have to kind of like reparent myself in that way like no sis clean your room no sis don't go to sleep with those dishes in the sink so i have to get back into routine that kind of way as well too but like specifically for right now it's just time to get back on track. Y'all, we have five months left in a year. So this is what I want you guys to take from this video. Find your rhythm and routine. Start to think about, you know, what happened last month? What goals you have set for the, the next month to come? And I want you to really sit down and write down every single thing that you wanna accomplish by December. And then come up with some sort of like action plan for it. And then sometimes I don't want us to go too deep and too perfectionist into this action plan because I'm a firm believer of like, it's not our responsibility to know the how we're going to get there. But I would say, don't be like oblivious and just like, oh, I know what's going to happen. Like you still have to put in some type of work to get there. So realistically, how can you help yourself get from point A to point B? And you have five months to do it. For me... It's getting, you know, monetized on YouTube and really building out my side hustle. Like I said, the economy is trash right now. And we all could use a little bit of passive income. We all could use extra income. So I highly, highly encourage you all, if you are a person, if anything, now is your time to get on social media. People tell you that social media is oversaturated. YouTube is not paying a lot of money anymore. TikTok, like you're not gonna be found on TikTok. I don't care what they're saying. Start that stuff right now because it doesn't matter if it's a hundred dollars, a hundred extra dollars a month, two hundred dollars extra a month. It's gonna help you somewhere. Like I don't know about y'all, but like my student loans are like astronomical. I did undergrad and a master's program, so like I can use all the passive income that I need, and I feel like they kind of set up set us up in this country to pretty much always owe somebody so now it's time for you to take control of your life like what can you be doing in this season to strengthen your skills what can you be doing in this season to make sure you're setting yourself up for success what can you be doing in this season to kind of cushion the blow in case the market kind of crashes and what can you be doing in this season to think about what products or services that you can offer that people might need. I know a lot of people are cutting like luxury services, like eyelashes, nails, like stuff like that. But think about services that people actually need that you can genuinely actually help people with. Because at that point, you're still gonna be making money for yourself. And at that point, you're gonna be, you know, helping push the needle forward, helping give back in some sort of like capacity. So I want you guys to sit down and reset for your August. And let me know what are your plans. Um, if you guys are interested in learning a little bit more about my side business, that Instagram is Sierra on Social Studio. And I also have a LinkedIn post just because I want to push out to more working professionals as well, as well as small businesses. But now is the time we got to be putting in that work. They say the most millionaires were made last time the economy crashed. So don't get caught sleeping. We have too many resources available to, to us. Things are a lot easier for us. Even though it seems so hard, we have so many tools and resources at our fingertips. So I want you guys to really think about it and be strategic and figure out how you can use them.
Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Share this with a friend. Please, please, please share it with a friend. And let me know some of your guys' August goals, October goals, September goals. I know I said that out of order. But let me know some of your goals for the remainder of the year. I'm here to be an accountability partner. I'm here to help you guys if you have any questions. Like I said, I've been in HR for like the past six, seven years. I also do marketing and branding in HR. So I do have some experience with like employer branding, personal branding. Stuff like that. So if you have any questions, let me know down below. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. You got a two-day trial before I take back my time and make you pay. 30-day trial before I made my mind and it's always trials and tribulations. Child, child, child. Kissing in Paris. I guess we could do it in French. Wow. Eating low main is child for now, child, child. She got me wildin' now. Worry a tie, your child for now, child, child. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she making that shake, breaking that bait till the bait break.